jig, what I do is I move the tool around rather than the wood. Normally with wood turning, you would uh, turn a bowl, you're turning the piece of wood. This piece of wood, of course, is much too large to go onto my, my lathe. So in this case, what we do is we have a central pillar that I've just put in here and we'll rotate the tool around and machine the, the wood away. I've screwed this piece onto the top of the wood and got it nice and vertical, but you could just as easily drill a, a hole and drop the shaft straight into that. Uh, I've got a block of wood up here which I've drilled to exactly the same width hole and it's quite a nice tight fit. The way the template works is I've made this metal bracket, I've got some bearings on the top here, it just rides on the templates like so. And the natural curve of the blade will, will produce the curve of the bowl. I've put a screw into the template to act as a stop. When it reaches the stop, it carves a perfect circle. So now I've taken it down to about its, the depth that I want. You can see it's made a beautiful uh, sharp edge around here. So that was as far inwards as I could go and it's formed a nice circle. Uh, so now I'm going to change the angle of the cutter so that it's less steep, a uh, flatter cut to bring it into the bottom. decided to take the center out so that there's a bowl within a bowl and the way that I've done that is that I've, uh, I've just cut this out on the bandsaw and now I'm just going to use the uh, hot melt glue just to seal that against that and then I'm going to use that as a template to cut, take the center of that out and now I'm going to use the mini turbo to machine it out using the template thought I'd show you just how smooth it is at the bottom. That's straight off the uh, the mini turbo. And that's straight off this tool. And you can see that it's just really quite quite good, quite smooth. It's very very easy. I'm just going around uh, planing, so I'm using the using the tool very much in the vertical positions. So that just going around in all directions, and that's the finish straight off the tool. So really quite nice. You could actually do a whole lot of bowls using this sort of technique. Um, it looked like they're being turned. I'm going to use a bandsaw just to cut this off and then I'm going to use my jig to round that. Okay, I've set it up at a set height. You can see the jig will keep going until it reaches the stop, which is a screw that I've put in there. And what I'm going to do is machine the bottom of the bowl um, to a lip, which should be the complete bottom of the bowl, and then from then on I'll sculpt it down. Going back to my bracket that I made for the uh, slab planing hack that I did, 
I think this clamp is actually proving to be really quite universal. So it also gives me the option of getting to some positions that I couldn't do before. So I've made up this little piece of plywood, which I'll fit in there and clamp that on. And now that allows me to uh, attach it anywhere I want on here and clamp it in whatever position that I need for cutting. So, of course, you've got to clamp it very well. So I'm going to use two clamps just to be sure to be sure. Um, and then I'll use it that way to, uh, to do the machining or the turning. So this is turning out to be even simpler than I imagined. So really, it's just this arrangement plus a, a jig to a bracket to hold the, the angle grinder or the power unit. And, uh, and then you just clamp it and put it in whatever position you want and then come down from the top. So now for the part that I always enjoy, applying the, uh, the coating.